Hello, in this video I will try to explain you how to get Google AdSense approval with an autoblog. I know that many people try to uh, apply to AdSense but got their um, applier denied. So always try to understand the intention of AdSense, then it would be very easy for you to get us AdSense approval. So, in this video I will speak and try to explain this to you. It doesn't matter if your website is one month old or six month old. Uh, uh, AdSense doesn't check this anymore or at least doesn't take care of this aspect anymore that much. Also, the number of posts, uh, it matters, but you can get approved also with 10 or 15 posts without problem. So Google is more keen towards the website speed, visitor movement in website and quality. Uh, I will give you a list of things that you should check before submitting for AdSense. Uh, first thing first, the website content. Uh, when you submit your first page for AdSense, it is highly recommended that you do also some manual uh, posts for that website. The post should be uh, high quality, done manually, and with nice images, videos, and content. Afterwards, you can um, create some automatic posts, but Keep in mind that you should have uh, some manual posts, manually written posts. Uh, also, that content should never be pornographic uh, uh, or violence uh, because, or that contains violence because these are uh, against AdSense policy. Uh, uh, so my suggestion is to write at least uh, 10 or 15 posts with uh, 1,500 words and add some nice images to it and also videos if you wish. Content is always king, keep in mind. And Google strongly believes that if you are a unique writer, engaging content, then uh, your chance of getting rank is very high. The second aspect is content types. If you are using only text in your uh, posts, then visitors will be not engaged as much as they should or could be with some uh, images, videos, PDF files, PPTs or anything else visual. So keep in mind that to that manual post that you create at first, add some nice visuals to uh, get Google to like you. Try to add images between each 500 text words, textual words content. The fourth very, very, very important matter in website uh, approval is website speed. Uh, we start to get uh, more and more webs uh, mobile friendly. So you should in, uh, install uh, some plugins like AMP for WordPress. This is a very nice uh, plugin that needs to be installed and it will automatically generate the AMP website for your WordPress blog. This is something that Google likes very much. Also, there are many, many uh, tools and plugins that will boost your uh, website speed. You can check your website uh, how uh, good does it rank on Google on uh, Google Page Speed Test. This is the tool that uh, you can use. Let's check my homepage. 
So this is the tool that should be used to check your homepage speed and performance. Uh, try to be at least 80 so 80 is the minimum for the good rating try to be at least 80 if you are below 80 try installing a speed booster or caching web uh, plugins uh, There are many alternatives for this. You can uh, install WP Super Cache, for example. This is a good one. Okay. The fourth thing to check is website structure. Uh, the team you are using in your website or blog uh, should be AdSense and SEO friendly. This is a very important aspect that also it should look nice. Uh, so try to get a nice uh, team. As you can see here on my page, it is a decent team. So, yeah. This is a nicely looking team. Okay. Also, important thing is traffic sources. Uh, you should check Google Analytics and add your, your website to Webmaster Tools to understand how you are getting traffic to your website. For getting a sense approval, you should uh, get traffic from search, uh, organic traffic, social uh, traffic, email and referral traffic. You can check Google Analytics also for this. Uh, you can uh, check many tutorials online on how to use Webmaster Tools. There are, the net is full of them. So this will help you in this matter. Um, also, very important matter is that there are some important pages that Google requires for your bug to accept you. So create this list of important pages and link the from the main page to them. L uh, create a about us page. So about us is very important and tell in the about us page a summary of your web page and who created it contact as contact us page where you should list how and where can visitors contact you directly maybe include a submission form in it privacy policy page this is again a very very important uh, aspect of the page nowadays that Google requires uh, very uh, heavily and the disclaimer page if it applies to your blog. Uh, it is Google AdSense policy that any website who is applying for AdSense should have these pages. So if you don't have one of these pages, it probably you will be rejected. Uh, another thing is top level domain and use of official I email ID. It is not 100% true that only top level domains will get approval, but a subdomain like uh, something dot the main domain dot com can also get approved if you are following the above the uh, six steps that I talked you until now uh, however google will give a priority to top level domains uh, so you should get a top level domain for this and also uh, the content as i said first thing first was that content is king so when you import content 
you should really try to import uh, import it from uh, sources and uh, very important thing is that you spin content that you import if you import in English from English sources and try and you wish to create an English automatic blog then you must use one of these free premium uh, spinner services in the, the plugins if you don't have an account you can click here and create an account for them each has one uh, link that can be clicked so uh, it is very important that you spin the imported content if you don't spin the content for the automatically generated posts then Google AdSense will deny uh, probably access to your uh, account and will not be approved so these are uh, good uh, high quality spinners that can be used for uh, AdSense approval also there is one another trick that uh, can be used for approval is that you import content from uh, sources that are not English so let's say we import content from a, a German blog and we go here and translate it to English translate it from English source select the source language German and translate to English so this is once again a good trick but please note that translation is done with Google Translate so the translation quality is not the best but it is readable so the content will be readable understandable but there will be errors in it um, so once again it is very important that you have those uh, manually written high quality posts at first then you can uh, pump into your blog the automatically created posts the automatically created posts can be spinned with the word spinners from there or translated from another language and posted like this also keep in mind the tips i suggested in this video okay Ho i hope that this guide will help you get approved for adsense and uh, keep in mind that first time only for an account it's harder than it is way 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 easier for subsequent web pages to be approved on an account uh, if your website is fulfilling these criteria that i talked about here it will and it should be approved for adsense um, so this is all i hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you until next time bye bye